I commentating uh, losers finals, Red J versus Sean. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Red J is going Snake. That's interesting. Um, Red J Snake, he played it in doubles with um, not as much success as I think he wanted, but you know he has Sal to train him and he has a lot of videos to watch and, and he's just a good player in general, so I'm sure he can pick up Snake very easily. So this will be an interesting match. Uh, Sean oftentimes in friendly loses to um, loses to uh, what's his name? <laughs> Sorry, his ex is Snake. So um, you know, spin-off snakes. I j it just wouldn't surprise me if he lost. But Sean has too much experience in this matchup to lose to anyone who doesn't know the matchup. So I believe you know Sean is not going to let this happen. He's he's someone that's full of pride. He's not going to lose to someone snake if they don't main that character. That's just not the option. So Sean will do whatever he can to make sure that he doesn't lose this match. So it should be interesting to see how maybe ego and aggression might get the best of him. Um, right now, even stocks, everyone's even. Back throw, DI'd okay, almost died, but not quite. Even percent, um, Meta Knight isn't killing percent, and the grenade killed him. That was very random. Um, Meta Knight with the stock lead, um, Snake killing himself with a grenade. And Meta Knight now camping, trying to find a perfect opportunity to get down there and maybe tornado. Um, I think that I think that Sean is just really trying to get that four percent perfect, and that's all he wanted. That's all he wanted. And he's fine. He's good. This part of the stage I think is good for uh, for Meta Knight. There aren't any. Um, there's not a lot of room to camp for Snake, and once Snake gets off stage, it's really easy to punish him because there's really no. Um, there's really no risk, you know. There's no risk for Meta Knight to go out there and punish because there's just so many, there's so many avenues to pursue when coming back on the stage here. Considering it's always teetering, I, I'd only assume that would mess up some of Snake's meta game with his um, grenades. I'd only assume that because it's tilting, his grenades might not go where they want him to go, and it just seems overall not the best place for Snake to be. And Sean taking advantage of Red J's serious habit, which is air dodging down. Um, to everything, and Reggie using a grenade, and Sean for the kill. So now Sean has that kill, 85%, two stocks, and Snake is down. He's at his last stock, 0%. Um, you know, and there goes Sean's, oh, wow, there goes Sean's stock. Okay, last stock, 0%. It's, um, it's looking like it's going to be a very close game. You know, I can't. I can't be the judge of who's going to win. He's come this far, you know? Maybe if Sean was ahead right now with 50%, then I would say, yeah, probably Sean, but... No, Red J has got a serious snake, and people should take it seriously. No, I, I do. Red J refuses to play Martha against Meta Knight. Um, he, just, he just can't do that matchup. Okay, now we're changing stages. This one is very advantageous to Snake. Not only can he get really good pivot grabs and delay hitboxes with the statues, but he can also camp, but that's the first round of Loser's Finals.